Welcome to the RVA Returners Podcast, your newest source for all things Final Fantasy TCG. Just have a basic conversation, because right? it makes it so it sounds like the, uh, you know, we're recording. We're recording. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the next episode of the RVA Returners Podcast. This is, and this is a special episode. We're here at your hobby place up in Fredericksburg. We got the gang with us today. <laughs> and I'm going to start. I'm your host, Chris Adams. With me, as always, is Adam Lane. We finally have the I'm Enigma actually, himself. I'm actually from Richmond, but yeah. I came up for the Fredericksburg. That's why I'm <laughs> the Enigma himself, Matt Jordan, is with us. And then we've got the gang from YHP. To my left, my immediate left, I've got Jason Fernandez. Hello. To my right, I've got Steven Arbolita. How's it going? And then next to Jason, I've got Curtis, or Mr. Kang, if you're nasty. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, Me, he's not Kang. Yeah, that's the one. Or Daddy. Or Daddy. <laughs> man, oh man. So yeah, we just finished up the uh, the YHP uh, weekly event. Um, really good turnout. How many do we have, Jason? Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. That's good. That's yep. a really good turnout. Um, that's about that's about what you're averaging. Right? Average of sixteen right now. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. That'll be a good segue for what we go into later. Now, as far as uh, performance, I actually uh, I took the whole thing with Mono Earth. It was a, it was a good feeling. Um, Ex burst dot deck. Oh my god. Shout out again to Greg Cole for the inspiration. You know, getting you get bodied by it once. You're like, I want to build that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, so how did you guys do? We'll start with you, Steven. We'll well, table I, it. I just started to play Mono Lightning, and it's just all, it's kind of like Andy Carmona's deck, pretty much. Yeah, good deck. It's just only one three drop, the Seymour, and then everything else is just two drop backups. Turn three, I have five backups, and then, okay, now I can play the game. Yeah, turns out that's pretty okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And how'd you finish? Um, I actually went uh, three and one. You were my only loss. Hey, we're gonna, that's going to be a common theme going around yeah. the table here tonight. It's my <laughs> only loss of the day. And every, I, I had five backups by like turn three. Mm-hmm. Every Then I was like, okay, now I can cast everything as I please. Every time I cast something, there was a response. Either the idea got tightened, the outset got cockatriced. It was just horrible. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a hard match. Like, both of those decks are really good. It's, a even, it's an even matchup, but if Earth plays more reactive... I think it can be lightning almost yeah. every time. Yeah. And you just had... I had everything I could have possibly had for any other matchup to win. You yeah. just had a response for everything I had as I had it. Yeah, it, it felt good. It felt good. Because <laughs> I, I think that's actually the first time I've actually beaten you in a tournament. Honestly, yes, yes, the yes. first time. Yes. And um, the thing is, every time when you were swinging with the wall, you had no EX burst. And I hit like three of them back. Yeah, it was like two Odin's in a It was like an Odin, a Dan, and then another Odin. And I was like, okay, these are useless. Yeah, that felt good. That felt good. (laughs) Adam, how about you? What were you playing tonight? Uh, So I was playing Wind Lightning with like a, a tidbit of fire. Yeah. Uh, so the only fire in my deck was three phoenixes. Fine. <laughs> uh, okay. So basically, like the idea is like all the three drops are super valuable, mainly Adele and Alula. And for so Adele. you play Cosmos to for the extra mana, or you pitch a phoenix to play a phoenix, and you yeah. usually get back something like stupid valuable. Mm-hmm. Um, or you could like phoenix back in a Lua in a Lua special, ready everything, and then swing out. Mm-hmm. Um, really dumb stuff. Uh, and then basically, yeah, basically you just play like hasty stuff. You get ahead early and you finish them off with like a Dell. Uh, so my one loss was you. Hey, uh, <laughs> it was a close was, game. It was, it was actually really close. A very close. It was game. seven to six damage, and I, I knew my two outs were either to be able to search for a Dell or draw a Dell the next turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then my six point of damage because I chose not to block wasn't a Dell off the top, and yeah. I didn't see the Adele follow up. So. That was yeah. pretty much it on the comeback. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a close game. Like that that last turn, it was like, oh man, I, I need to like I need to play to my outs. I need to just. You know, I just need to sit and yank for that. But then I did peel Atmos off the top. I was like, cool, I can at least get rid of one blocker and just, you know, force it through. So, again, super close game. A lot of fun. Uh, I think Adele and Alua might be two of the best cards in the game right now. Yeah. And then another, just another cool thing is uh, Urian J with, like, Layak is, like, really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> that, that made, like, a lot of plays awkward for my opponent. Mm-hmm. Like, I could just swing out, and if you try to swing at me, everything just readies and I draw a card. Yeah, I mean, it, it just seems really Dude, good. That's zero downside where I come from. Uh, and it's, it's, it's free, mm-hmm. basically. Like If you think about it, like I'm playing Urian J for two lightning mana to get a one mana monster for free. That draws me a card. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. So. Matt Jordan, what were you playing? So I was playing pretty much mono lightning. There were five earth cards in it. Three, three of them were wall. Three of them were wall. Well, <laughs> there are five unique cards. Okay, okay. Wall, Shantoto, Star Sybil, Carbuncle, <laughs> and Tama. Yeah, you don't so, need anything else. Pretty much at that point, Lightning is pretty undersized, with the exception of like Gilgamesh and a couple other stuff. Yeah. So I just play my 6k, 7k people. Then while I can make this Alua is now going to be swinging 9k every time. So mm-hmm. which problem do you want to get rid of? Yeah. And then also with Carbuncle, everyone's mainly 7k most of the time. 
I'll just tap two, make a 9k, go back to my hand. Yeah. And uh, then, like, I had it in Archangel just because of that. He'll be a 9k who's going to be swinging up to 11ks. Yeah. yeah and he's searchable in that. And he's searchable with Star Oh, Silver. that's right. He's 11. That's so silly. <laughs> that's so good. The, oh, the, the, just the synergy, man. I went two and two though. I lost to this guy playing Phoenix at the last second. So. I think I, I played two Phoenixes on that. Yeah, I got hit twice. <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. And did he get back Alua and Adele with the Phoenixes? Uh, I think the first time I got back in Alua, yep. and the second time I got back an Orion J into a Leia. All right. So, <laughs> no, all right. That's annoying. Yep. <laughs> if it happens twice, I just don't know what to do with that. No one plays around the second one. When your opponent is attacking. It's a force break. It's one of the force break yeah. I saw that card being used in Florida a lot. Um, one of the people that topped was playing like three of that, and it was obnoxious as like a mono win chocobo deck, and then she kept on like swing for like six, and then just play that card, and then afterwards just aggravate everything again. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Yeah, that seems really <laughs> good, in, like a low to the ground aggro deck, and that's a hell of a segue. Curtis Kang, you're next. Uh, what were you playing tonight? I was playing the same deck I played in Florida um, for the top eight. But I made some changes to it. Um, I ended up going. What, how many rounds did we play today? Two two. Four, 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 four rounds. rounds. Okay, I went two two. My first loss was to Jason. Um, too many Fords, and then Shimazai, Shimahaze. <laughs> I fucking hate that card. <laughs> That's good. He, he blew me out with that last time. I hate yeah. that card so much. Yeah. So if you're playing Earth, <clears throat> it's like everything's four, so it's like no matter what, it's like you can't block. All right, fine. Uh, I wish Chris could say the same thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, my favorite card, I, I jam it in every Earth deck. I play one. Just one. Back attacks, Star Mike. Star Mike. Oh, oh, did you oh, get okay. to play? <laughs> <laughs> got it over here. got it over here. <laughs> I also run two drop personally. Like, yeah. for, for that very right. reason. I might end up doing that. Who knows? <laughs> Gotta play the Scarmaglio. <laughs> and then uh, last round, lost to uh, Brian, who was playing the Warrior Light deck. I was pretty much winning that entire game. I just took a risk at the end and ended up killing myself with uh, Paradise. Oh, no. Um, he had, like, three cards in hand, and, like, he already got rid of, like, all his other summons. I think, like, two Cockatrices were gone, and, like, I saw his deck before. He didn't play, like, any Leviathans or anything like that. So all the experts are either, like, searchers or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So he had, like, six damage. And I was like, all right, Sh Chanteau to clear the board. Star Civil into uh, Time Walk person. El Eld March, is that the name? Eld March, yeah. Okay. If that is, like, a combo, I don't even read the card. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> play that. Paradise went to turn. Swung to attack. And then Cockatrice is like, okay. Oh, no. And the last Cockatrice is just like, ooh. I know what it feels like to get blown out by a Cockatrice yeah. at the end. It sucks. I lost, I lost <laughs> him as well, and then I actually got blown out by Hashmel. I was, like, at the end, like, right as he was going to swing, I was going to Talma and all sit on his turn and then pretty much blow him out. Mm -hmm. But then that 1K plus making something else of Warrior of Light, it's just like, with the reduction. Now yeah, I can't reduction. break it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a sleeper card. Yeah, so what you're saying is there's a lot of really sick stuff. And, uh, again, congratulations on the top eight for the cards of Evilly's tournament. So, like, we're, 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 we watched you on stream. We were like, is that? Is that? Yeah. Like, we didn't know. Yeah. 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 I didn't tell anybody that, that I was going to I told yeah. nobody that I was going to play. He was the day before. I was <laughs> playing. He was just like, I'm, I'm going to head out. And then the next day, he's yeah. like, yeah, I'm out here. We were all <laughs> like, I was talking. I just messaged him on Facebook. And I was like, hey, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm in Florida. I'm in a tournament right now. I was like, what? Wait, what? What? Just caught the red eye down to Florida to go play in this tournament. Yeah. Like, I just bombarded with questions. How'd you get there? What'd you leave? <laughs> I like, just like, his mother. <laughs> yeah, I was so confused because yeah. I was like, like oh, I told nobody I was going and I just made the drive and ended up playing. It was a lot of fun. I went when I did get on stream. I got, I think I paradised twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Well, that's how we knew it was you. We saw the play mat. Yeah. yeah. We were yeah. like, is that Curtis? The play mat. I was like, yeah, that's Curtis. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah it was so much fun. Yeah, well, congrats on that, man. And uh, Jason, what were you playing tonight? Uh, my, my deck's a variant of the Mamba Day Chocobo deck that won uh, Nationals uh, yeah. last year. But um, I switched out a few cards, uh, mm -hmm. mainly just abusing the, the Zargabath engine and the Shelby engine, getting the discard effects, uh, more Starvation with Armaturge. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it, uh, obviously the three-drop uh, wind that everyone just seems to hate with the Unblockable. Yeah. yeah. Adele. 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 Yeah, yeah, she's so good. Adele she's... on that deck has just really made it just way more efficient. I'm guaranteed my win by turn four. Yeah. Just about every game. Yeah. Like, that was the um, only match I lost against in yeah. Florida. It was just, I thought he was playing, like, wind water. So I got rid of my Hecka, then he played Adele. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Adele, and if you get her out early, like, turn one's already back into Adele, you're just taking damage. Yep. Uh, unless you stop her or you get hit with an EX burst, there's really nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I mean, my, my, my games today went pretty well. Uh, first game, I uh, played Mike Conley. That was a blowout. I mean, most of my games just end super quickly, so that's really 
uh, autopilot at that point. I think Chris would know uh, about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, right? I'm, the, I'm the king of quick games. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's actually the first side. time. Well, we went to Ohio. Yeah, yeah, we went to Ohio first round, and like I just finished turn two, and I look up, and Chris is done. I'm like, no, it was like that in Boston. Literally, I'd be playing my match, and I look up, and Chris is getting up, and I point at him, he goes. Points at you, smirks his face and gives you the thumbs up. <laughs> like I look at my boy, I have like three backups, and I look at his, he's already gone. Like, <laughs> I'm dusting off the old hands, going to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then friend. the other guy has his head down, like all sad. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, it's just funny, like we talk about when Chris plays fire ice. We're like the most common thing you hear on turn one from the opponent is, "Oh shit." <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they, they play lock, like he plays lock turn one, and you're like, "Okay, lock turn one, whatever." And then he goes sage, and you're like, "Oh shit." <laughs> I feel like it's a common catchphrase just playing you in general. Yeah, because yeah, my like, turn two was just, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> you got the early, you got some forwards out here, like swing. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> Mustadio. Mustadio. Yeah. Kill him. Yeah, right. It was just, it was, I got a board presence and it was gone the second I got it. And not used to that. But, um, I played Zaim today, uh, who. Uh, yeah, went to time, and oh that was the most God. frustrating thing I've ever experienced. That, your face was <laughs> priceless. Like. Oh, yeah. I, I I wouldn't say I'm an in, impatient person. No, you are an impatient person. <laughs> <laughs> in comparison to Steven. Uh, so I, I, I am not. But with you and Steven we are, are yeah. the most impatient <laughs> people I've ever You guys I'm are like old man. Yeah, I'm pretty impatient, but like if your turn is taking more than three minutes, like there's time involved. Right. Okay. And, and if I, it's a three-minute turn, then you have literally ten turns to win this game. That's not a. F- less, I mean, unless it's super aggro, like right. Be radius, be mindful of. What like long turns are okay. Like if you're like doing something important, but if you got like one card in your hand and you got like no backups with no forwards and you're looking at your hand for like five minutes at that point, <laughs> right? Which has happened. And, and e- even then, I'll, I'll still give like the minute, minute and a half, and then I'm just like, all right, you got hurt. You got right, right, right. Yeah. I feel that way too. And I'll, like I'm not in, in any way shitting on Zion. I love the guy. He's a great guy. Great guy to play. And we actually have really close, close matches every time we play. Zion's good. But yeah, he's a really good player. Yeah, but he yeah. hesitates a lot, and that's what I makes him, him. I played him last round. He, yeah. he was playing a little. Slimy. The the thing is, uh, the, he's playing the monster deck, yeah. and that's pretty like intensive as far. Well, yeah, no, it's, yeah, a, de- it's a deck grinder. Like it's yeah. a brain grinder. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because yeah. I I played a lot. Yeah, and piloting it looks very difficult. Yeah. And he he was playing slow against me too, but it wasn't. I was I was so far ahead, like, right? Because I was just like turn one a little and Adele, and then he tried to like chaos something. I just dropped another Adele, and right? Swung again. Oh. Well, I got I got him to six fairly early. It was yeah. turn three, and I was at him had him at six, yeah. and he was pretty much done. He said like uh, you got it pretty much, but then he played uh, the one drop monster that can, three game that goes under. Cobble yeah, Droid kept me, kept Joe, me back. Yeah. Yep. Um, nothing can get under it. My Shampoza couldn't get under it kind of thing. So, and then you had that alongside with Kefka yep. and Gal getting your monster. So yeah. I was sitting there. We were in a hole for a long time. and ended up going to a tie, which was very disappointing. But in the end, um, still, still, we, next match was Curtis. Uh, that went quickly. Uh, not in his favor. He didn't get the cards he needed to keep afloat. And yeah, then like, I just didn't have like enough cards to play. He like, did the right plays for what he had. I mean, he played Dino Luma turn one, well, and that's, like, that's my biggest threat. Yeah, I played Dino yeah. Luma turn one, and then you ended up um, doing a bunch of, like, Shulk and stuff like that, yeah. so I ended up, like, having no cards. It was well, just that Dino Luma, and then the Shimhaze at the end. Right. Was like, well, you well the Tharma Surge addition made the starvation for the deck a lot stronger, mm-hmm. and that's what seems to be getting everybody, is once I starve them, I can get ahead, always guaranteed. Because you have so many cards right now. <clears throat> Right, yeah, I keep like the everything cards. in that deck like costs like nothing. It's nothing. two, three. Like, maybe the expensive three? card is Genesis was just four, four drops. It's two of four yeah. drops. Yeah, everything else. Yeah, is like, like three everything else in that deck yep. is just three. Yeah, so he, just, he, it's he all three. So for the Dark Lord, yeah. yeah, that's it, or Shadow Lord. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> other than that, then I get to Chris, and I was like, all right, this is gonna be quick, and it was quick in the opposite direction. <laughs> 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 I did not expect to see dump hands and like, giant things, and I was like, all right, well, I just sent Hazi under this. No, he's dying as I swing. Yeah, <laughs> when that pretty much what happened. I had the Warrior of Light board out. I had Warrior Light, Angus Wall, and that's just doing work. And then every time he swung, I either yeah, killed it with like a combat trick, and mm-hmm. if I didn't, it was like Mustadio, Mustadio, Atmos. <laughs> it's all right. Nothing I could do. Yeah. I, I was sitting there with one card in hand, pretty much every turn, just trying to put forwards out to defend myself, trying to uh, jill my bot to freeze to slow him down. Couldn't get the card advantage and just got swamped. And then I just sealed the deal by dropping Big Yang. It's like, cool, that's a cute Renoa you got there. Right. Bro, yeah, combat. I had the Renoa out to block, and it didn't matter. Yeah. It feels <laughs> good to hit EX burst. Doesn't right. It? And, 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 that's you. and I don't have to play purple cards to do it. You know, that, that was the worst thing. I, I go into a match and I'm like, all right, I'm going to let people swing at me. I got Adeas. I got Odin's. That's fine. Right. It'll keep me afloat. That wall. <laughs> wall. But then it's not even that because I had like three forwards on the board, swing with uh, Alua, 
Mustadio break. She can't I get around that. that. I saw that. Was, was it like double Mustadio? Yeah, yeah. I, sw- I swung twice, and it was Mustadio, Mustadio, back to back. Yeah, because he swung with lightning right after that, the five man yeah. one, and she died too. <laughs> yes. yeah. He hates Mustadio, and he, like because I used to play that Final Fantasy Tactics deck. Yeah, you did. And then, like, the card's good. Yeah, it is. The card's like, I think one game we played, like you swung your like. Four points. And, like and each there was one, all like, three. Mastadio, Mastadio, all, Odin, Odin, or something like that. It was three Mastadios, two Odins, and I only got six points of damage, and I lost that because clearly all those are E-Burst. If, if I, if I would have won that, then you'd do something wrong because <laughs> you put me way far behind <laughs> with those bursts. Well, you can see that sort of thing, like why you can see how decks change based off what's around you. Like if I see that, that has like 90 X burst. Why do you think I splash wall into a lightning deck? So now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I can I mean, do the same I mean, thing. you gotta change your deck according to local meta. I mean, like if you play your deck against like, that's why I don't feel bad losing against Jason because like no one in the meta plays that nope. deck. So like, if I lose to it, fine. It's off. It's like off the you know off the grid. Mm-hmm. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to change my deck to play against no. this because if I do yeah. that, then it's, it's not going to be prepared yeah. for a bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, the same way. You know, yeah. When I play stuff, like it's you can't prepare for everything. In this game. Yeah, exactly. no, not at all. Like, I mean, there's a lot of answers to a lot of things, but like for example, the meta that I'm running is the meta from Opus Three. Yeah. I mean, and that's what's catching people off guard, and that's what I intended to play at the next big event that I play to do the same thing. Um, People aren't building for that. They're building according to what they see. I try to keep a lot of my decks that I modify from older decks off the grid. They're all in my private FF decks group. Mm-hmm. Um, people that see it here locally are the only people that get to see it. And then when I go out, it's supposed to be that kind of mm-hmm. that flashy blowout that I expected to try to pull off. Yeah, I, I literally just altered my Earth It was very similar, but the backups were way different. And then like I said, after getting just trounced by Greg Cole in Boston, I was like, man, that seems like a really good idea, having all those Mustadios and all those Atmos. I was like... They're early. They're man. They're you just pitch them for mana to play your big stupid guys, mm-hmm. and then like when you flip it for ex burst and they catch it, they're like, "Oh shit, I forgot that's a card." Right. And you just you just catch them. Yeah. You also have the benefit too. Like when people play against lightning, they know. Like yeah. Like that the fucker runs three Odin's. <laughs> yeah. But when you play against Earth, you're not like ah, I bet he runs a Tomos and Stadio. You know? Nope. Yeah. So. Nope. And it's just and it's good. Uh, I'll tell you, I swung. Not feeling like I was gonna hit, get hit by a single thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, at least you know what, that didn't happen. But I'm gonna get some value on these points. And, nope. it, and it's good. <laughs> it's good for a meta fill with Alua's because it, it's it's a, the way to get rid of Alua without having to exert a lot of resources. Mm-hmm. It has same thing experts. with Adele. Yeah. yeah, it has to be expert. And same thing with Adele. Yeah, it's cool. Make her unblockable. Sweet. Mustadio. Suck it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, which is and that's and that's the idea and then I could just play big dumb guys like all the warrior of light so cool I can like you know when I blocked your barbs twice and I was like yeah that's fine mm-hmm. I live right so it, it just it makes your makes your chum blocking a lot easier yeah but um but yeah overall it was a good tournament guys I mean, it was a great turnout so um with that being said let's go into you know the the meat of this um you know we came up here with you guys because you know you guys have been helpful. To us getting our scene, like, you know, the Opus 4 pre-release, you know, a lot of you guys came down for that. Mm-hmm. You guys that early on were able to fill out a lot of the blanks for the Richmond scene to make you know, make our scene look kind of like it's looking bigger. You, know, you guys were the sock in the front of our pants, right. essentially. <laughs> so, right. you, know, you guys made us, you guys made us, you know, and also, you know, you guys are good players. That's, you know, that's why we got you guys here. I think, you know, not not taking anything away from anybody else but I think as far as consistency goes you guys are probably the three best players and you've got the tournament results to prove it right. mm-hmm. um, so you know when we, you know, you guys are good to bounce deck ideas off of you guys play smart um, but that's also good to get new people in and that's one of the things that I think you guys excel at is getting new people in so I'm just going to ask you guys like how did y'all get the group to the size that it is? Because you have, what, like 20, 25 people on the regular? Uh, 25 to 30 active players. See, that's awesome. That's so yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, and then we, we, I mean, the group is large. Uh, the, the YHP group that we have built, um, it, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty yeah, huge. Like, if we have, everybody, like, like, actually showed up, like, at one day. We could fill the store. Like, wow. we, yeah, we could fill the store. Like, we have a lot of people that kind of cycle in and out. Yeah. Well, not really in and out, because they do come consistently, just sometimes they don't come. Like, yeah. Sean would have been here, too. Mm-hmm. Sean has been coming um, consistently. We don't know where he's at, but yeah, he's doing his own thing. Day, but, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's say if everyone that is a part of the community that plays that has a deck that plays regularly showed up all at one day, it would easily be touching like the thirty per thirty, a little bit over thirty people. But yeah, year at once, but like over the past couple of weeks, like we've been having like five round tournaments mm-hmm. that's for awesome. locals, and yeah. that's like you know we played five rounds at Charlotte, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, you know 
it's pretty. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's fantastic, and yeah. it's kind of mind blowing mm-hmm. for like the locals to sometimes have enough, um, you know, to match like another major tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, well, hearing just hearing uh, other states talking about how they struggle just to get like three or four people, yeah. like it breaks my yeah. heart. Like I mean, it, does. It, it really, it really is sad because we were at that point at one point. Um, I mean, yeah. the original, the original. So were we. <laughs> <laughs> we were there until two weeks ago. Right. Yeah. yeah you guys blew up, which is yeah, great. We're more proud, and happy to hear that. Because um, yeah. like. If, I think it first started with me and my friend Andres, who was actually Steven's roommate mm-hmm. at the time. Like as soon as I heard the game, like uh, Sage Ma- Mantis told me that the game was coming out, and I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, smart man, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but anyways, uh, he told me that the the game was coming out as with a card game, and I love Final Fantasy. I was like, okay, obviously I'm doing this. Buy me two boxes um, of Opus One, and I waited for like this was when they first announced it. So this was back like October, and GTS had some delays with Opus oh, One, yeah. and, I, not into that. and I had to wait <laughs> for like three months. And I'm like fiending. I'm on like YouTube watching all these videos of like <clears throat> other people that have like boxes, and I would spend like hours just like watching people open boxes. And I was like, I wish I had stuff. And when we finally got it, he only had one box because they shortchanged him, I guess. Oh, no. And I had to like split it with Andreas, but it was just me and him playing um, for like at least two or three weeks, and then we got Steven into it. And uh, I, I told him not to do it. He yeah. he, he was my, he kept on begging me to play card games, and I was like, I'm not getting into a card game. You don't know what it's gonna do to me. I don't want it. It's too much a responsibility. I finally played one match. Oh, With great power comes yeah. great responsibility. <laughs> right? I instantly got on that Amazon Prime screw local local game shops because nobody had it. Amazon Prime order order order. I had like two boxes of Opus One, two boxes of Opus Two instantly. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just want to throw in a note like. Curtis had traveled like the first time I ever got to play a person. Mm-hmm. Curtis had came to one eye jacks one time. I think he was running like a wind water oh, deck in Opus yeah. One. I was running Golbez at the time. Oh, you were there? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember now. Because yeah, we like, just had a moment. Yes. <laughs> I always try to remember who I was playing against because I always wanted to play him again. Yep. Because this was back when uh, it was literally just me and Andreas, and like I didn't know that other people had stuff, so I was excited. It's like, oh my god, someone actually else plays this game. <laughs> and it's a Richmond, and I go to Richmond. <laughs> Time. Full circle. Full yeah. circle. This is like this is fun. <laughs> <boy. laughs> yeah, um, and they've known each other for quite a couple of <laughs> right. years. And now they finally realize that. This is I, I, realized, I realized that as you were talking. I was yeah. Like, oh, crap. This is like my notebook moment. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but like, so um, just yeah. We just found the name of the that. podcast episode. My notebook moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I remember that game too because at that time there were no advance rules. Um, we had no idea like any advance rulings, and I think. What, what we didn't know was like things on the stack so you play like a cloud of darkness and I had like a waka and I cancelled your cloud of darkness yep. and we let it go because we had no idea whether or not that would work or not because this was like past before like Kageyama decided to start posting stuff on Twitter so <laughs> we're like okay this makes sense because in like Yu-Gi-Oh this will stop yeah. it yeah. We'll, we'll we were both former players so yeah. that would make sense yeah so like we let it go and I end up decking you out I think yep um, which is actually a common theme to do. Yeah, let's not talk. But then after that, um, at that point, we got Kyle into the game, um, and then he knew Jason, and then we ended up linking up with Jason, and then we ended up going at the store because before your hobby place, we used to play a Sage Mantis. And we'd only have like maybe four to five people on the regular, and then people from Richmond would come up, but they ended up stop. They stopped playing because supply was so hard to get. Yeah. Which I don't blame them for because it was almost impossible to get like. GTS actual, made it very difficult yeah. to obtain. Like you want to order a box from like an actual store and support them. Well, good luck. They're probably mm-hmm. not going to get any. Mm-hmm. And if they do, you're not going to have enough to like share to other people. Um, and then from there, once you got linked up with uh, Jason, your hobby place, it just started. Uh, you know. Steamrolled. Steamrolled. Um, I mean, I work here at your hobby place. Yeah, so. he works at your hobby yeah. place. So his job is to like promote the community, mm-hmm. and like, would you I do a can, fantastic job? Of, uh, yeah, thank you, thank like you. I can do that too, but I wasn't being paid to do it. That's right. like, there was just, no drive for a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, like I just love playing the game, and I'm working like every day, mm-hmm. and you know my job's not to do this. I would have to like spend a lot of time out of it, and even then, like we do that too. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't even think like me personally, like I'm good at like bringing people together I'm better at like fostering a competitive community because mm-hmm. I always try to like you know my he's the disappointed is, dad of our community yeah so like yeah. my <laughs> motto is no mercy like yeah. <laughs> you don't hold back you play as hard as you can if you can kill them you kill them yeah and you don't 
let things go off because that's how you become a better player. Yeah. So like that mindset attracts other competitive people, and I think that's good because like you know mm-hmm. if I'm here, a lot of people like coming to play because they want to start pe- playing competitively. They want to go you know, travel to events and things like that. Mm-hmm. And then Jason is good at you know promoting the community um, to like you know the every you know just normal people that my, just want to come to play the game. My job as a at, here at your hobby place is not just to, uh, to build communities. I mean, I, I worked at several places. I worked for Sage Manus um, and ran his, his video game events. I was, my job was to build communities for that. I worked at Gamepad in the mall here at Fredericksburg, which was the same thing as another land center. Um, I've worked for Game Vault, which is now closed. Um, that was open for 10 years. My job there uh, briefly was to uphold communities and do all that. So I just have a large background of just bringing people together and getting them to play. Um, uh, pretty much linking up, when Kyle linked me up with Curtis, Curtis's competitive nature brought in the more competitive players. My job is to get the newer players in to meet us and kind of just get that whole mold going. Just in general, we, we wanted to get everybody to to see that this is a real game to be to be reckoned with. It's not, I mean, I, I'm a former Magic player. I've played for 23 years. Um, nothing has been able to take me away from Magic. And as soon as I played one game with my boss for Final Fantasy, I was, I was hooked. Mm-hmm. Sold all my Magic cards, kept like three decks, and just bought whatever I wanted in Final Fantasy. So I, I, you know, I'm fully loaded, just like Curtis and Steven are. We, we all we all have the cards we need. Anytime we both need anything, uh, we, we bounce off each other. And that's another thing that helped us build our community is just the very uh, forthcoming and welcoming side of us is that, oh, you want to get into the game? Here's a deck we'll build for you. Yeah. And it's yours. Like, that and plus we're whales, so we have like extra play sets of like all the commons and right. and stuff like that. So if you want to play, sure. Take yeah. this for free. Right. And we actually have like what? The, um, the new player boxes. New player, new player boxes. boxes. There we go. Yeah. That's, a, that's an idea that um, I came up with uh, with my boss. And basically what we do is uh, we just take whatever extra stuff that we have from other players that, that they don't want anything to do with. Uh, something we did at my old shop is we had a windowsill where people would play Magic. Anyone that played Magic, if they didn't want their cards that they, they recently opened, they would put it on the windowsill. It's free to the new players. Well, we took that. We took that out. Well, we adopted. More. Oh, excellent! There's a whole stack. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will go right in the box to make another box. Um, what we do is we take those boxes, uh, those cards, and we mix them all together. Make sure it's about equal with every element. Uh, we promote the game when someone comes up and looks interested in the product, and we tell, like I tell them, it's like, well, this is a very, gr- it's, a, it's a growing community. It's a very great game. If you're into Magic, you're going to be feel right at home. Uh, if you play Car Fight Vanguard, it has a f- similar similar life uh, component to it. Um, it has very m- many similarities to other card games that you will feel welcome to. And if you buy a starter deck, which is great out the box, the starter decks alone help promote the game. Uh, something that good. They're good, yeah. The GTS, the, th- the thing that GTS failed with and the Square Enix um, in general, they didn't give us any like flyers, any promotion stuff to work with. So it was very difficult to grow a community. That's why a lot of stores are struggling, I feel. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you take the time to just make your own art, like do your own things on Facebook, do social media, all that stuff, that's what really grows the community. And... Uh, Working with people one on one and making them feel welcome, making it like a family, and I have to give a shout out to Adam Street for that. Yeah, Adam. Uh, Adam, he no longer plays our game. Sadly, hopefully he'll be back. Oh, he will be back. Yeah, he, he has this thing where like he jumps he to like card games, the guard card games, but he'll come back for. Yeah. I do that. <laughs> I, 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 I miss that guy too, man. When he came down for the Opus Four right. release, like the most friendliest, the friendliest yeah, person awesome. you ever meet. He's just yeah. a great guy to be around. He's very welcoming yeah. and just and plus love the guy. Plays multiple card games. Like he actually knows a lot of people from different shops. Mm-hmm. He ends up like bringing his friends over, yep. and they get hooked into the game because it's like, a lot of fun. Yeah, so. Huge, um, huge addition to our uh, community huge. building was Adam Street for sure. Um, yeah, because he brought. Um, I mean, he brought uh, he brought in uh, Liam Austin. Austin Liam, yeah, he brought in Austin Sean. Sean. A lot of the people from Sages. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then like Liam ended up bringing his friends mm-hmm. too. So that's it, it was like a chain three. event. Yeah, yeah. So like and then, that's um, kind of what's happening with us now. It's mm-hmm. like that too. It's like just a chain. Yeah, it's it's just you teach the right people and they they do the same thing back and uh, it, yeah. the community is very. It, it helps that because the way Adam went about things is he takes everybody and meets them at face value and just goes, I'm going to take you in as like, I'm this father figure. Like he, mm-hmm. he takes you in, he, he befriends you. Yeah, the, we did the dojos, which was another thing. I'll pr- go with that in a second. But like when, when he did all that, we were constantly bringing in all these people and we I, I wanted to do something that was going to give some people some competitive drive as well as give people a reason to like push to recruit new people. Mm-hmm. And I created this dojo idea. It was all for fun. It was all fun and games. Uh, I believe Adam's dojo was the short bus. Um, <laughs> yeah. But they changed it to the Church of Datum. The Church of Datum, which, nice. is, which is awesome. Um, but what we did with the dojos, and uh, I suggest any new community do this once you start getting people rolling in, is that um, when, you teach, when you teach a player um, and you choose, you choose to teach three people and they become active in the community, those three people are now under you and you have to name your dojo. 
And under that, they are under you. So, like, you're their sensei. They, they go under you. They, they compete for you. This is your, your dojo places in whatever place. Um, from there on, your, your members can choose to, to teach people. And if they do, if they teach people, if they teach two more people and they become a three-man group, he can choose to descend away from your dojo and be, make his own. So now you're having multiple branches of dojos go off, and then you have dojo battles. That created the crew battle concept that we've been uh, experimenting with. It's the team games, like all that stuff, that, uh, the whole gauntlet we had when uh, RBA faced yep. off against mm-hmm. Fredericksburg. Really fun con- really fun game, you know, just kind of like in and out. Um, I was so bad at the game during that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can honestly say that. I've From that moment to now, I'm a completely Oh, I've seen a big player. difference. I've seen yeah. a big difference. And, and your growth is just, you guys have been exponential. Like, mm-hmm. you were the big threat then. Yeah. Like, when I when we, when we, when I played off, I was just like, okay, this is the big dog in the group. <laughs> uh, so, like, that was a... Uh, it's, it's cool. We go back and forth every week. Right. Now, so it's awesome. And we, yeah, like, yeah. we constantly bounce ideas off each other. Yeah. So we have, like, a group chat. That's, like, it's, like, never dead. Yeah, like, it's, never not, dead. it's us right. three and his yeah. brother, and we're just like, we're like, hey, I built this deck. I sent him a link to FF decks, and Matt will be like, hey, you're missing this, and he'll repost the list with the changes, and Matt will be like, no, y'all are both wrong. Do this. Right. And then Drew will just be like, I like that. I want to play. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's what me and Steven end up doing a lot. Mm-hmm. We did that for Charlotte too. Mm-hmm. Um, when we play the standard units deck, like made the deck, pulled on to play it, and then we just bounce off each other like yeah. Yeah. this card in. Curtis brought me into that too. I yeah. can't really say that I'll look at a bunch of cards and put a deck together because it just doesn't happen. But then you give me something, I know how it works, and I'm like, all right, I know what this is supposed to do. Now I can look at how can I do what this is supposed to do but better and then look at it like another th- a threshold list oh, and like yeah. make the modification that way but I can't at least haven't tried to anyway just to start from scratch and well I feel like you don't give yourself enough credit because after that the first pre-release for Opus 5 that we did you proved me wrong and you proved all of us wrong because I used to think you couldn't build for shit <laughs> <laughs> but the pre-release you stomped everyone out and you did really well mm-hmm. and you did good at the Opus 5 in Richmond too mm-hmm. yep. yeah. yeah so you have it in you you just you're late <laughs> See, that was tough love. That's dad love. Right, right, right. modify some ideas. Right. Like Andy Carmona, shout out to that deck. It's pretty mm-hmm. cool. I'm having a blast with it. Yeah. <laughs> I think Steven's just problem the is dark that side. he Mono doesn't white. read past the first sentence of most cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'll read something like, what? That's how you get divided on three damage. <laughs> <laughs> or one damage. <laughs> one. <laughs> but I, want, I just want to throw this out there. Like, the community that we've grown here at Fredericksburg has been... It's been an adventure. It's been a year that we've done this now, mm-hmm. um, and it constantly grows. We get we've got new people. I think uh, it's important too that every time we get new people, make sure that you make them feel like they are the business. Like yeah. um, mm-hmm. our Facebook group is always. In, anytime we get somebody new joining, we're gonna we're gonna welcome them personally. Like it's gonna be we're gonna tag them in this post. Make sure they know that they're. Here. I love that you guys do that. Yeah, by the and way. like yeah. we want them to know that they are now part of our family, and mm-hmm. then you know anything you need that we're all here and we're all here to welcome you with open arms. Yeah. And then we definitely had a lot of posts about like a bunch of people being thankful, and they've literally said this is like the most welcoming community I've ever right. been a part of. Makes my like heart melt family. every time. Yeah, every yeah. time I see them, it's like we are doing. Yeah, something. we're doing yeah. something I special. I made your heart melt every day. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> but no, and that's I mean, and that's one of the reasons why you know I wanted to do this particular episode with. This this focus because I think you guys are doing something special here. Like I feel like almost every, at least once a week I get on Facebook and there's somebody in, the, in this YHP group that said, you know what, I'm, I'm a more confident person now because you guys have made me feel so welcome. I don't feel like an outcast here. When I'm right. in these hallowed halls where I'm hanging out with you guys, I can just be myself. You know, you, there's so much of that here. Yeah. <clears throat> and you guys do such a great job with that. Like I think every community on this planet – on this planet, in every game could learn something about being warm and welcoming, even though this mm-hmm. is something that is competitive at the end of the day. Like, at the end of the day, like, me, Matt, Adam, and Drew, like, when we go to tournaments, almost stomp you out in a tournament, right? right? right. 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 Yeah. We're, fr- you know, we're friends up like until I they said, say, no mercy. Stars. Yeah. no mercy. No, no mercy. No mercy. Yeah. If you're playing in a lo- you But when it's over, it's like, yeah. good games, you got me. You know, it, it, you know, and then we'll talk about the matchup. or say, like, hey, did you get there? No, what happened? Did you get there? Yeah. No, what happened? Yeah. This is what like, you could have done. It was just like today. Like, yeah. yeah, like, you know, we, yeah. 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 we, 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 we go all, back and forth. We all yeah. had to play each other yeah. today. Exactly. Yeah. Just and just, and that's, just, that's just the nature of the thing. But at the same time, like, there's we're never going to get salty at, at each other <clears throat> over this game because... No, I, I can't. I'll get a little salty <laughs> when I'll be I can't well, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a little salty. Right, right. No, he gets really salty. I get salty as hell. But, uh, <laughs> but, it's, but it's no hard feelings. Right, no, 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 no hard feelings. feelings. No hard feelings. At the end of the day, give me 20 minutes to cool off and I'll be... I think, I think salt is fine because it just shows that like the you, passion's there. Passion, you want to win. I, I think... Is, 
like salt is good as long as it's coming from the right source. Yeah. Like you could be salty at yourself, be like, yeah. "Why did I do this?" That's yeah. good. Yeah. Because like you know, when you get salty, it's more like, "Why did I do this? I did this really badly when I had it." Yeah. That's good. But if it's like, "Oh, you're so lucky that you had right, this," right? No. Like, no, no that's yeah. that becomes toxic. And yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what that's the that's the last I, thing you want in the community. I don't run into it a lot in this community though, which is good. Like I mean, yeah, I, I, like just shows that you have drive when you get like a little upset yeah. yeah. when you lose. I, I, I veered away a little bit from Final Fantasy. Started playing Super a little bit and. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different community. My, yeah, yeah, it's it's a different community. Say I'm such saying, a good talk. <laughs> I'm not saying as a whole because it's not as a whole, but like a lot of the toxic players from Yu-Gi-Oh switched over. Yeah, to and that's super. why I avoid that game yeah. like a play. Yeah, so, that's my running joke too. Yeah. Like and so like, and so, so yeah, at at ARG North Carolina, I, I, I went to the super event before, and then the Final Fantasy event on Sunday, and it was just people like trash talking one another but like they're not smiling like they're clearly mad <laughs> and it's not a joke they're, they're clearly upset at one another I was like man like it's a game at the end of the at day at the end of the day you're slinging around cardboard cardboard guys with spiky yellow hair like <laughs> you know that's why I tell people when I because I still play magic I'm yeah. like man no, calm down. At the end of the day, we're slinging around cardboard wizards. Like, right, just right. think about that for a second. Yeah, usually, like the first thing, I, if I lose, the first match I think about is like, what, what could, could I, I have done better? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Every time it's like, uh, last week uh, losing to Curtis in the fifth round, which was it, was it was a very salty situation for me. But um, it was a I had the game in the bag, and I just I misplayed completely wrong and. Because I got upset, I was defeated after that first misplay and misplayed again. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it just steamrolled into a backwards, like, he just came back and whooped my ass. And that's what I get. I had to step away and t- came back, and I was just, like, happy as hell afterwards because I was like, you know, I learned from my mistake. Like, I actually and I actually got angry, too, tilted. even just winning. Yeah, he I was knew, angry at me because he knew I knew, I could I, do I knew better. better. Like, exactly. Yeah. And that's the kind of community we have here at Frank- mm-hmm. Frankiesburg is that whenever someone makes a mistake, we'll tell them what they did wrong, mm-hmm. and we're going to tell them, you know, you could have done this, and it would have had this result, yeah. and you would have been still in the game, or you would have won the next turn. And uh, and that's that's the drive that our community has to keep coming back. Yep. And it's not not just that, but the whole family orientation. Make sure they feel welcome. Make sure they feel at home. And, you know, if they need something, don't card shark them. Like, if you yeah. want to get a trade and you want to get a card shark, do it with somebody that has the same equivalent of your cards. <coughs> but if they're new to the game and you've got an extra one, well, be humble. And I'm actually glad you said that because um, we had we got a lot of new players, and there's, there's this couple that comes in, uh, mm-hmm. Johnny and Sarah, I think are their mm-hmm. names. And, uh, you know, we allow people to proxy in our weeklies because, right. we you know, we got a lot of new players. You know, play what you feel. Well, nobody's been doing it except for Sarah this past week. She proxied up, and we were like, that's awesome. And she was playing this mono ice deck that, you know, still learning how to play it, mm-hmm. but she, like, needed Renoa's. She needed – I was like, here – I've got a Renault. Mm-hmm. You can have it. Here, what, what, like, we just gave her yeah, a bunch I of... Gave like, her, yeah. I gave her a lot. I gave her a yeah. lock. I was like, I'll take a foil common. Uh, there right, we go. Exactly. That's how I, yeah, I I'm gave, a foil junkie. So it's like, you want a legend? Here, just give me yeah. a foil common. Yeah, I, 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 I pulled a Kuja out of one of my packs. Like, here, have a Kuja. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Matt had another Kuja. So it's like, we were able to... We didn't need them. Right. And you clearly enjoyed playing this deck. You're doing better. Here, if somebody wants to join this community... Your community, this community, any community out there that's trying to build a community, if they want to join and they're looking at that drive but they can't afford it, help them out. Yeah. Like, that's the biggest thing. Is like, if you got box after box after box, like, every set for me personally, I get at least two boxes. You know, people like Curtis and Steven, they'll I split get a case. case. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then you, you're the, that makes you an instant leader of the community. If you can help somebody out, do mm-hmm. it. Like, that, that's what helps build. And people see that, people are giving, and they will return the favor and give back. Because yep. they that's, never forget. Yep. Never forget no. Yeah, because yeah. I when uh when, when we had like the Opus Five tournament, mm-hmm. um, you were you were in Ohio. Y'all were in Ohio. Yeah. And uh, I was opening my third box because that was the box that I won from the Kefka Cup. Yeah. And I like one of the dudes from the beach was out there, and he couldn't did that money. He hadn't bought any like Opus Five stuff, and I was like, look, man, here's a stack of my extra rares and heroics and commons. Take Donuts. what you need. Yeah. And he literally walked out with like a place out of every rare and common. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because like. In this game, like you only need like a playset of like every card, and if you buy like just three boxes, you literally have a playset of like well, you almost have two playsets of boxes, every like you know common, oh, common and uncommon, yeah, yeah uncommons yeah. and commons. Like you'll have a full playset of that, and, and then, most of the heroics, yeah, most mm-hmm. of the heroics too, and then like maybe like one or two legends of everything. Yeah. So like except for Wall, that guy was a goddamn unicorn. Wall, <laughs> I've opened the full case so and, a half, and I've only <laughs> seen one. I have six. I have seven. seven. <laughs> like I literally, I literally opened not three f- boxes of the case. I didn't get a single wall. Yeah. The card was yeah. just funny because that that was. Like, it's so funny, like, that, because that happened, that was the catalyst that made me play Fire yeah. Ice in Ohio. Yeah. 
Yeah, because we, we borrowed your walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walls. We borrowed, we borrowed which, which, technically, which technically my brother gave to him. My brother was yeah. the only person that was pulling him. He <laughs> yeah. was pulling him out of pre-release kits. He was like, yeah, cool, cool I got this card. Well, I did, I did what anyone should have done, I feel, that knew what that card was capable of, was trade the hell out for it. Because yeah. Yeah. it was like, nobody knew the prices, nobody was going on with any, anything. I was like, all right, whatever you want, just give me that wall. And they, you know, here you go. After the Opus and 5 like, release, there was three cards that I was after. Alua's. Wall and then orphan. Right, I mean, get orphan. Well, yeah, because when we played uh, out at uh, in, in at Battlegrounds uh, for the pre-release, you were like, "Here's your favorite thing, right now in the field." <laughs> you were you got so happy to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, w- "Would you be willing?" To- <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally for like two weeks. His, his only question was, "Did you have an orphan?" <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, guys, you guys are doing something really special here and. It's actually been uh, the, your your methodology and the way y'all do things has actually been helping us build our community because like you know we've done a lot of that like we make sure we make posts in our group mm-hmm. like I always try to associate a picture with it I try to you know right. make a group chat I you know every either like right after or this week Adam like right after the tournament he went mm-hmm. we were so stoked we were one person away from having a top eight cut instead of a top four cut mm-hmm. we're like that's a big deal for right us. right yeah and then we're you know we were like four people away from having you know a fifth round like mm-hmm. you know like. The fact that the fact that we've gone from literally the four of us sitting in a corner in battlegrounds to we outnumber the magic players every week. Now, granted, th- we the, the next week that may change because Dominaria is coming out, mm-hmm. so I expect that. To, I expect unless hell, we could if we ma- if we match that number of magic players on Tuesday with Dominaria being out, that that's huge. Like mm-hmm. that to me, that's a win. It's a win in this game in general because, yes. like, like I said, we've got so many communities out there struggling to build, and I'm hoping they're listening to this podcast today, and just just take take this and roll with it. Like, yeah, um, it's so important to be active with the community, constantly talk to them, take it on a personal level. If like uh, the other day we had a uh, my our buddy Patrick here. Yeah, um, he was he wasn't feeling good. He was about to quit the game, and he, he messaged me. He's like, "Man, I'm going to quit the game. Do you want my cards?" I was like, uh, "No, you're not quitting." Mm-hmm. Um, you know. Come into the store and come hang out. You know, I was working at the time, and uh, I made an event specifically for him. And you know, we had like four people come out and spend time with him. And the, my boss and uh, a couple others here, that you know, they, they spoke to him and you know, sat down and played with him, and it was great. Like, and he he's here here today. This was like a day or two ago, and he's here today playing in the tournament and back at it. And that's, that's awesome, the thing man. is that, and his, you know, I called it like Patrick edition. That's all. It, all it yep. takes is just a little bit more personal. Yep. To uh, personal sprinkle on everything, and we it just makes it feel s- important. Same thing for Stan too for his yep. birthday. When Stan had his birthday, you know, like <laughs> Stan's not. Um, he's 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 been a regular with our, our community for a long time. Um, he's struggling to get, to to get over a pedestal for himself. Like he can't get over this certain point mm-hmm. um, competitively, but he's constantly working towards it. Constantly working towards it. And, um, you know, we did an after-hours event, you know, after she closed down the shop and just brought all the Final Fantasy people out and threw, like, a secret birthday party for them. Oh, that's and, awesome. Yeah, and did a little graphic for it and everything, and that's the cool thing. I actually really enjoy doing that. That's why it's uh, it's not so much me. The drive I have for this community wasn't because I wanted to, you know, I'm not getting, it's not just because I'm getting paid. It's I enjoy doing graphics. I enjoy doing all the little designs on the Facebook. I enjoy making the posts. It makes people feel good, and that's what I'm about, and that, you know, the YHP is just giving me the reins to do it. Like, yeah, because you guys make all these fun play mats. And you right, know, yeah. You guys well, do a lot of really neat and stuff. And the play mats is all me. Yeah. I pay for those. Like, I, I get those made for the, for the community. Like, I, I, that's what I'm saying. you got to give to get. And that's and, the important thing. And you do it for, then you give for the sake of giving. Like, right. That's yeah. a, like, that's a mm-hmm. big, that's a big part of that, for right. sure. So, yeah, again, keep up the great work, guys. You know, we love, we love coming up here on Sundays. You know, we love when you guys come down for our events. Mm-hmm. But, uh, so, speaking of that, we're going we're gonna to end on this note. We got. I don't think any of us here are going to Toronto. I think we've all kind yeah. of uh, we've kind of eighty six. Gene, that Gene said he's going. Yeah, Gene John. and Brian. I think. Oh, awesome! Yeah, yeah John we got and two from, from the community going there. I don't think I'm going to pull another secret trip. So. No, that's a, that's an expensive trip. No, Meanwhile, <laughs> in, in Toronto, Curtis <laughs> King on the <laughs> Curtis <laughs> King on the street. You fucking liar! Who <laughs> <laughs> should be there? Is that his playmat? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's a, Gara's right there. That's how you know. <laughs> exactly. The red Gara. And then I think a lot of us are talking about Kansas City. Um, yes, yeah, I think um, definitely you know, going to be there. K- Kansas, it's something that will make heaven. Uh, whether or we're driving <coughs> or flying, that's up in the air. Well, if you're fl- driving in the Avalon, it feels like you're flying on a cloud of comfort. I'm telling you, that car is amazing. <laughs> Only have to fill it up like twice. 
Or it's, it's a great and sitting in the back seat because you know, I pretty much rode in the back when I wasn't driving up to Ohio. I was sitting in the back. Seat. It was like a, like a one bedroom apartment back there. <laughs> I, felt great. I came. I, I went back there. I made some chili. It was awesome. <laughs> made some uh, chili. Watched some television. It was good. It was a good time. But uh, so yeah, like. What do you guys do? And I said, we'll end on this. we got these coming up. Uh, I don't know if any of you are going to Gen Con. Like, we're, like, in the height of Opus um, 5 turn. Like, yeah, like we're, we're in the thick of things. We are behind right. enemy lines. And that's why I love this year, because finally they have all these events out. Like, when me and Steven went to Nationals, like, we were fiending for, like, some other event, some other competitive event, but there just wasn't any. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like... This year's been very active. Exactly. I'm yeah. so glad that they this saw, year... They, they saw that it's been blown Yeah, out. they have all these events now, and, you know... Still got to wait for And the ARG just announced state championships for July as well. Yeah. Which we're yeah. hoping to obtain. Um, yeah. yeah hopefully, great. hopefully we get that here. But um, on another note, we're collectively between us here in, in Fredericksburg and, of course, the RV returners, oh, trying to do like a circuit series. Because yeah, we'd like to do something like that here. In Virginia, like if we count all four communities that. All th- oh, yeah, all four communities that we have, we have over 40 players, so we can. Have a crowd just as big as we like, can the easily do ocean. a bigger crowd. Yeah, and okay. I talked yeah. to Colin too, and all the Pennsylvania people. He said you'd be willing well, they would to travel yeah, down. Yeah, those guys are awesome. And I'd be willing to bet this is the, this is the call out. Would the Florida guys come up? Because we'd love to have you. Oh yes, right. yeah. yeah. Pretty if we did, sure. If we did, if we did, get it. I know Sam and I would drive up. Like yeah. if he had the time. Like yeah, if we did, we did a turn. We'd have good prizes. We would make we would make it worth the people's while to mm-hmm. play. And yes. we would love to just make this a big event. You know, we we can we we can we can throw down here, and that's and that's what we want. You know. So, because yeah, I think like on the East Coast, like the best, well, the most competitive communities are definitely Florida, Virginia, and Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah and we we we've, we've kind of proven that over and over again, mm-hmm. yeah. like for sure. And that's on the East Coast, obviously. You know, California is California; they got yeah. great guys over there too. Right. Mm-hmm. But uh, on the East Coast, it's one hundred percent those three areas, and we uh, and we do it very well. And you have mid- is it, well, is Ohio considered? Yeah, that's Midwest. East? Yeah, that's Midwest. That's Midwest. 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 Okay, yeah, they got a great scene up there too, and they do they do great work. And I think I think there's no reason we can't do the same, you know, on on a bigger scale. We've got the bodies, we've got the drive, and I think that's and we all want to play competitively. That's the mm-hmm. big thing. We all want that. Like we can get on Amazon, we can buy a Lightning plushie. We can do that. We can, we can, we can, we can get four of those for top four. <laughs> right. We can, we, can, we can get some dope play mats for everybody. Mm-hmm. They won't be signed by you know Kageyama, but you know they'll be signed by the RBA return. Might have to have the Kageyama signed play mat. Yeah, I'm, I might have a couple of those too. That uh, you know I don't mind. You know, there's here's the thing. Like a lot of that stuff, I look at it as trophies. But if I could ever take something like that and put get it up back. as like a prize, right? Yeah, like yeah. I've, I've said it before. When I go to a tournament, I don't use a play mat. I bare ass it on the table. I don't. I don't. I, I'm a savage like that. <laughs> you get, like a paper towel. Yes. It reminds me actually. Like the last year, um, I did a random giveaway to uh, my my boss. Actually, gave me a suggestion that um, we give away. The, the biggest community giver like we give a prize to somebody that and we yep. surprised them with that and it was around Christmas yep. time and yep. Yep. I, I dug out of my own collection the Sabines which were like pretty expensive at the time and they gave like a playset to 30 a piece maybe yeah, yeah. 30 a piece. 30 I gave a whole playset to uh, Adam Street for that and uh, we gave him one of each promo that we had in the store mm-hmm. and that was just given to him because he put a lot of effort into building our community yeah and uh, that's, that's a big it's deal. all about giving back I guess. yeah mm-hmm. So it's a big thing. Yep, and that's how you do it, guys. Like if you, you know, again, if you're listening to this and you want to build a community, you're not sure where to start. It starts with having the right attitude, mm-hmm. and it starts with realizing that it's got. You've got to be bigger than yourself. You yep. know, you've got to, you've got to be able to. And, and you don't. I'm not saying you have to give away a collection of cards, yeah, but you have to at least. Like if you play competitively and you got someone starting out and they're using a starter deck, you know what? You use a starter deck. Play right. on their yeah. level until they. And, guide them you lead them up to the competitive level yeah. or you help them if they like that like Shazad's a perfect example he pretty much started with the 10 starter deck mm-hmm. and now he's, he's taken that and he has tweaked it to like cool there's Blitz Ace Titus is in there mm-hmm. he's got some walk backup walkas in there he's got like you know the good YHP cards mm-hmm. in there yeah. like and it, he's been getting better every week and, and it wasn't because we were like hey that those cards suck you should play this yeah we yeah. were like no yeah, if you got this, mm-hmm. use this. You know, try it like exactly. this. You know, right. make that, the modification. Like, you have to make a constructive criticism too. Mm-hmm. Like, I never, you know, frame anything negatively. It's just like, mm-hmm. well, you could have done this better. What were you thinking? Like, yeah. like what were you planning? What were you afraid of? Unless like it's still one of us. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's one of you guys. Because yeah. I know you guys know better. Yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Yeah, but Thanks, like, Dan. <laughs> and like, especially with like new players, like oh, 
ask them like, hey, how do you like to play the game? Like, you know, do you like to go in like really fast, get early damage? Do you like to sit back and control the game? Do you like to just play big beefy guys and just slap them against their face, things like that? Mm -hmm. And whatever they end up telling me, I go, okay, well, I know a lot about the game here. This is the colors that you should play. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it might be a little expensive depending on what kind of cards, but you know, here's a starter deck of this color. Take that, use it and play if you like playing it that way. Yeah. At the same time, like, you know, let them get the starter deck and then once you do it, you know, I'll just take cards out of my collection and be like, okay, these are the cards you should be playing that don't come in the starter deck. Take this. And, like, I did that for Liam. Uh, yeah. He liked Fire. He liked Final Fantasy VII, but it ended up being, like, a mono fire deck or something like that. Just gave him Bahamut's. Just gave him all the stuff that he needed. And then, like, he's been a regular in the community, like, ever since. Yeah, yeah he's, he's on the come-up. Yeah, he's on the come-up. <laughs> he's on the come-up, too. He's yeah. getting really he's good. He's getting really good, yeah. like... He's always super nice every time I come yeah. up, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Here's yeah. my binder. He's like, right. what do you want? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's he's, like, he's very nice. He's definitely a character. Yeah, he's a good character. He's a good character. Because yeah. yeah. he he got the what's that what's that monster with the cat on it? Sh uh, Schrodinger. Schrodinger. <laughs> he Schrodinger. He pulls a monster on the top, so it's bouncing forward, and I didn't even read the card all the way. See, this typical, is typical. typical <laughs> Steve. Oh, he does. He has a first sentence. <laughs> typical, typical Steve move. So he he read like, title job. See win. <laughs> his <laughs> his worst state was like a gal, an emperor, and like eight monsters. And <laughs> sounds like you're already in trouble. It, it, oh, it, 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 but I had an emperor on the board, yeah, and, I, and I had right. like all my backups ready. I had a Gilgamesh that I could just pump mm -hmm. up. Um, and for some reason, I had the gal was like dull. He wasn't swinging with mm -hmm. the gal. I can't recall why why he wasn't swinging with, but he wasn't. And so then he gets that Schrodinger, and then he tells me to bounce my emperor back to my hand, which is the only thing stopping that Kefka from mm -hmm. turning all those mon those monsters into forwards. And I was like, okay, put it in my hand. You win. Shook his hand. Come to find out today, I was supposed to select the, font, the forward that I wanted back in my hand. Yeah, because you told me about it. I was like, you know you get a pick, right? <laughs> no. R, T, F. See, that's just as guilty of it, too. Like, because, well, I'll read it, but I'll interpret it somehow. And I'm like, like today with Cecil. Yep. Um, I do that. I was like, because yeah. you have to choose a dull forward when he comes. I thought it was choose a forward if it's dull. Or right, choose a yeah. forward, period, if it's but, dull, do such right. and such. Yeah. But yeah. it was people yeah. go through it. And I just have to call you out for a second. We had a weekly where Adam was playing a ninja card. No, I did it three times. Yeah, yeah, I did it three times in a row. Yeah, that's just <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> So I, was, I had this bottle of fire and list with like Godot like an and two drops. Like Godot and two drops. So like I play Godot turn one. Turn two I go ninja. This happened three games. He, he plays Celis the next turn. Same exact thing. Celis and ninja. I go, okay, uh, I'll swing with ninja. Ninja's like a, a 6k because of Godot. Yep. Deals 2k to a blocker and has first strike. Celis mm -hmm. is an 8k. He goes, okay, I'll block with Celis. I go, okay, you die? I was like, what? He goes, <laughs> he goes oh no, then I don't block. So he takes the damn. We go to the next turn. I do it again. He blocks with Celis. I go... You die? He goes, he goes, oh, no, don't do that. He like, goes, it. It's like in my head when it was first time. I looked at it upright when he played it the first time, then I looked at it sideways, I thought it was a different game. Oh, oh, I was like, shit, that's the same guy. <laughs> to be fair, like all the fire standard units, they all look the same. Right, right, right. right. It's this guy. Yeah. Like, like, literally, the only difference is like, the cost of the card, card the color like, of their hair, does he have yeah. a headband or not? Right, yes. that's pretty much it. He has brown hair. Does he has red hair? Yeah, hat have a feather. It was, yes. it was just funny because it was the same two cards. Just, but then, not only was it my ninja, it was always Celis. <laughs> but, then, but then we played after, like, again, we played like, later. We did, I did it again. <laughs> 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 These are top players. Yes. I make the same mistake at least five times before I don't make it again. So it's gone for me to yeah. just let yeah. him pick. This is a me. game of repetitions. Like the yeah. more you yeah. play, you see mm -hmm. scenarios. That's how you're yeah. And then it's, like whenever you have like a new player and they like feel like the game's too hard, you just I just tell them like once you get used to the the color fixing in this game, like it just flows. Mm -hmm. Like everything mm -hmm. will just flow naturally. That's if you true. just get over the point of like which color do I have to pitch or like, you know, the you know, just Lightning for lightning, and then win for win, things like that. At that point, it just flows through. Yeah, it's like when me and Curtis play a match, like there's no conversation. Like it's yeah. just literally, it's yeah. silent. It, it's like uh, that one scene like, in. Uh, silly no. In no. Hero, like Donnie Yen versus Jet Li, and they have that entire battle in their mind before <laughs> they actually fight. That's pretty much what it is. Nice. <laughs> literally, it's just playing cards, and I, like I'll play it, I'll sit, and he knows there'll be like multiple targets, but he just knows which target is the one I'm going after, and so on and so forth. Well, early in. Uh, 
early on when we, when the community was first growing, I remember uh, Curtis and I would, whenever we first started playing, it was pretty much the battle of like the two best players at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and anytime we played, we didn't speak, we didn't talk, we did finger pointing. You grunted back and forth. It wasn't even a grunt, it was like a blink. It was just, there was just this mental connection, hand movements, go kind of thing, and people would sit there and watch and be like, what is doing? going on? Right, yeah. And they how, did, how did he know that he wanted to break that? Move? Right, yeah. What a wonderful <laughs> dance. <laughs> right, yeah. it, was, it was Bobby Fischer versus the Russian. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> and it, it was a beautiful thing. And uh, that's seeing the, the two of them do it, Stephen and Curtis. I, I picked up on it. I was like, this is just a beautiful. Just, yep. It is a dance. It is all it is. Once you get to know a player, it's just all about they know what they're going to do. You're going to just play yeah. a nice silent spin. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, we I know we have a lot of that too. Like we we, we just we we know our habits. Like Adam, I've been playing card games with Adam for almost a decade, if right. not over a decade. We know each other's cards. Right, right. Yeah. I'm a lot more predictable <laughs> because I I just here's the thing. I if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna fucking do it. Right. You better have, I, I I come from the campus. I'm always gonna make you have it. I'm always gonna make you have the answer. Even if I know you have it, I'm gonna make you have it. Yeah. You know if that makes any sense. Like when we were like the first time I played against Curtis tournament, I knew he had three chaoses in his hand. I was like, I know he's got him. I, I know he's got him. Well, I guess I got to do something. All right, you know, like I got, I got to either I got to know you have it and make you waste it, or make you spend it on something and that I know I can recover from. Or fuck it, I'm turning my card sideways. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think the way you play is like calculated aggression, but a little bit more leaning towards risk. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I, I'm, I'm yeah, I risk yeah, yep. like, That's how I play. You do yeah. think of, like, you know, like, well, what if he has this? I might get blown out, but the chances of me is much better than, you know, this. Yeah. So I'll take it. Let's like, roll those dice. Valhalla, we're doing yeah. it. Yeah, that's <laughs> like every time we talk about decks, like, we're like, oh, what are we going to play for the next event? I'm like, shut up, Chris. You know you're playing Fire. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. So you know, you know that's what works. So the, that, that's what you're going to play. Like, and I, I think Steven's the same way. Like, he plays calculated aggression, but he leans back more. I love the mid late game. Yeah. Okay. yeah. If I could count on five backups having a full like, hand. He, he does doesn't really take risks unless I wouldn't say he's, he's very like aggressive. Well, no, I no. think he's very aggressive. Now, yeah. now. If he's playing lightning, if he's playing oh, lightning, lightning is always yeah, aggressive. lightning. He just plays cards and goes, okay, I'll swing, 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 right, swing. Right. But like, because <laughs> it's been it's been three ma- three out of my matches today. I'll do four points of damage one turn and then close up the game the next turn. Because yeah. Alu is so good. <laughs> the card's dumb. Yeah, the card is dumb. Well, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. You know, we went a little longer than we wanted to, but, you know, when you start talking about community building and the stories and just the camaraderie that people have, like, you just get caught up in the moment. Like, you just, like, we're just literally sitting here just having a great roundtable discussion, and we're glad everybody can be a part of it. So, uh, until next time, um, you know, we'll talk to you guys next week. Um, we're going to do some more between now and then. We're going to have some more, you know, maybe another deck tech. We're posting Ron's deck tech finally. Yeah. Um, you know, Adam, I'll let you take it away. Plug in the Twitter and all that. All let, s- play us off, keyboard cat. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So if, if anybody wants to do dead text again, like just hit us up however you want. Uh, we're trying to make as much content as we can on YouTube. We're we're enjoying it, we're trying to edit stuff. We we did make one today, so hopefully I'll have that edited and out soon. Um, and then just looking forward to Tuesday. Hopefully yeah. we can uh, keep up the momentum. <coughs> yes, and I'm going to plug it again. I want to make. I think every community should also do it. Take one of your weeklies, turn it into a night where you play title format. You want to. You want to get new players in. That's also another great format to do because turns out a lot of new players pick up the game because they like the franchise. Yep. Yep. What? Like, we had a new guy. Not to not to ramble or yep. tell another story, but one of the newest players in our community. He loves tactics. He loves uh, twelve. Guess what my two title decks are, and guess what I'm bringing on Tuesday to play a game of title with him. <laughs> Both of those, and I'll bet he'll be hooked. We have yeah, multiple guaranteed. people like that. We have people come in. It was like I only want to play thirteen cards. So we it got was it. like we let them play thirteen cards, and then he played for three weeks. And it was like, man, I should have like Alua or some yeah. of these other cards. You'll see happened, them uh, grow. That happened with Jimmy too. Because yeah, like yeah. he was like, oh, I love uh, Final Fantasy thirteen. And then just how it happened to be that most of the cards are lightning and ice. And then from there, you start playing a bunch of games. Like, well, if I want to... He's wanna... got so much better, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, great well, if I want to make this more efficient, I should take out this card and add this, and it becomes more of, like, you know, metal. Yeah, yeah, so that wraps it up. So we'll talk to you all next week. All right. Peace out.